Hi, I'm Jeff Jensen with GoInsurance Technical Support, and in this video, I'm going to show you how to manually set revisions in SOLIDWORKS PDM Standard and PDM Professional. So you'll find this capability in both versions of SOLIDWORKS PDM. And for more uh, detailed help on about it, you can go to the online help uh, for SOLIDWORKS PDM, and if you look under the SOLIDWORKS PDM File Explorer, then uh, Versions and Revisions, and under that you'll see modifying revisions this is where you'll actually get information and the help about it um, and so to actually manually set the revision uh, for files we have to first meet some uh, criteria so first we have to make sure that you actually have that the user you're using to manually set the revisions that you have the appropriate permissions so i'm going to show you how to verify that um, basically, you'll want to go into the user that you're using. I'm uh, going to use the admin here. So this is a folder end state permission. So you actually want to come in and check the actual folder that your file is in and just make sure that you either have permissions to set the revision or you're in a group that has the permission to set the revision. You also want to check the state that the file is in. Uh, so we're going to be changing this when it's in the approved state. So I want to make sure that I have this permission here to set the revision there as well. Uh, so coming back to our list of uh, things we criteria we have to meet, we also have to make sure the file is not checked out. So uh, make sure it's checked in. Uh, odds are you'll be setting these in a you know an approved or release state, so it should be checked in that state anyways. But um, next, you'll want to make sure that the actual state that the file is in is set up correctly. So these last two are kind of cover that, where the, your revision scheme must be defined in the, that current state for the file, and the revision variable must also be assigned in that state. Um, so we'll take a look at those settings here that apply to that. So we're in our default workflow and we're in the approved state. So if you actually look at revision numbers here, we can see I've got my revision numbers uh, uh, assigned here. You also want to make sure the increment is, is set there. Usually that's just going to be by one. If that's not filled out though, you won't have all the options to manually set the revision to. You also want to make sure that you've selected a variable here that it's going to display the revision value. So we're just using the default revision variable. Um, and once that should basically meet our criteria. So to actually set the revision of the file, we're going to do it to this drawing here. So you just select your file, making sure it's checked in, and then go to the modify drop down menu. You'll see set revision. That brings up the set revision dialog window. You'll see it even list its uh, references here, so you could actually change them as well. So we can actually go in and multi-select these and say we want to set the revision for all these files. You can even tell it to update the variable in the data card, so we want to do that. Um, and so you'll see, that, then you'll see that there's rows for its current revision, the new revision, and this is automatically uh, determined by that increment amount in the state. If you actually wanted to manually change this, you could. So you could come in here and select whichever revision variable you wanted to use. You can't update these all at once. You'd have to do it per file. So if we wanted to bump these to like G, uh, G we'd have to manually do that for each file. And we're just manually going to, in this uh, demonstration, manually bump the revision for these files from uh, D to E. And we're going to update the variable in the data card as well. So, and you can also enter in a comment, we'll say manually bumped revision. So we have that in the history for the files and say OK. And that completes the update process. You'll see when we look at the file here, it created a new version. The revision for this version is E. If we look at the data card, uh, that revision ver variable has been set to E as well. So manually setting these revision uh, values is handy. Uh, you know, if you you might have missed like a signature on the actual drawing, you might need to check it out, update it, check it back in, and then you just want to basically quickly reset the revision without having to go through an approval process. You also might use this uh, when migrating data into PDM and you need to bump the revision to, to match its current 
revision value uh, before you got it into PDM. So I hope you enjoyed watching this video on how to manually set the revision uh, for files in PDM, SOLIDWORKS PDM, and thanks for watching.